first little piece of the camera. I'm about 600 metres up on a Munro that I'm going up for, for a summit camp. Well, I say a summit camp, I won't be summit camping on the trig point. I'll be camping on one of the, the plateau parts and then uh, probably hitting the trig during the night. Um, it's only half four, but the sun's just on its way down. We say it's winter um, and I'm going to miss the sun at the top for sure. So I'm going to get pushed on before I get cold. But uh, what a night. Um, Clarity is going to be amazing tonight, so we should see some good star shots and stuff. Um, as you'll probably hear, I've got a little bit of a cold, so I wasn't too minds about coming out tonight. But when I've seen the weather forecast for this area in particular, I just had to take the chance. Um, I am feeling it. I'm way slower than I should be. So as long as I take my time, I will get there. I have got the right, the right gear for staying warm if I need to. Um, I will be okay. Um, and then I'll get the tents up. It's a new tent tonight as well. But I guess I won't really be able to show you much of it until the morning now because it'll be a case of getting set up in the dark and then, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and then getting in and getting cozy. Right, I'm going to push on. Thank you for tuning in to Moffat Mountain Adventures and uh, let's see how this video goes. since I last put any video up. Um, I've just been chilling in here. Um, got everything set up for the night. Um, I need to get some food soon. But what I might do is I might have a quick nap. I'm absolutely shattered. Not good coming up a, a mountain where I'm cold. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then at some point I'll go over what kind of kit I've got. But I just need to freshen up first. And, and yeah, just take the wee edge off me. So I'll we'll check back when I'm feeling a bit fresher. Uh, and then let's see, we'll go with some kit and, and the stars are looking mental already in the night so we should have some awesome pictures coming up soon um, as we go through the, the evening, you know. Um, should be a lovely night by the way. So, check back in a bit. I've measured this water to perfection from my wee cup. I'm not quite actually, there's a bit more. I'll get in there for now. I'll go towards my, my food. So, I've got a wee, a wee brew, a cappuccino. Gets warmed up. Um, not that I'm that cold, to be honest. Uh, and then I can then um, work out. I might go out for a wee wander actually, just check out stars and stuff. Not feeling a bit more fresh after the walk. I need time to recover from that. Um, that was knackered. I might see I can start going over little bits and bobs that we've got tonight. And new tent, cover that. Yeah, it looks, it looks nice. It looks nice tent there. Um, but I've, I've not even done the guys yet. But I will do. I was going to go out at some point tonight and just um, really anchor it down just for just to see what where everything fits and that, you know. Um, give it a proper test. But we've got no wind. And it's not forecasting overnight anyway, you can see it's, it's so peaceful. Perfect mountain night. Uh, anyway, coffee time before I'm rambling. So I'm actually an uh, OEX fanboy tonight. So I've got myself the OEX Bush Pro. Bivy, and that's going to go that goes on top of this um, OEX Mafia 900. The reason why is because this tent I've got here 
is a four season tent, um, a full four season tent, like a mountain expedition tent. So the chances of it having condensation is very high. Um, like I say, I will go over the details uh, about this, this tent at some point, probably in the next video to be fair, or maybe in the morning. Um, I'll see. I know I'm I'm definitely camping in a few days again, um, which will be quite fun. So uh, I might just wait and do it, do it then, go out early and we can have a bit of a day out and I'll show you the tent properly then because I, I actually want to probably sit up. I, I've only set up with like half a dozen pegs and just because there's any wind, I thought I'll just I'll see how it goes, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's let's see. So, oh, yeah, first two layers. I've got my big puffer jacket on. I'm actually really cozy at the moment, but um, I quite like being that when I'm in my tent. And I've got my big my big pillow and my wee pillow underneath that. Um, so the big pillow is the uh, one from uh, the Catholic one, you know, the um. Uh, memory foam one and then the one below it is a seat summit below my uh, pillow that goes with the mat the, the seat summit mat i'm still using my what we class as summer mat and um, the 3.4 r because again as you see underneath <coughs> excuse me as you see underneath i am um, i always put a foil blanket so it actually um it balances that out it probably gives it about a six r rating um, I'm just too tight to buy more mats. Um, probably could. Um, I should really do it at some point. Um, but I just put a couple extra layers on, and I'm I'm cozy. Um, I've got a a star lapse going out there, but the batteries. Um, I've got to charge that thing and the wee T60. Um, since my last trip, so it's not got a huge amount of battery on it. So I uh, probably get like five second clip out of it. Um, but um, never mind. Better nothing. Um, but definitely we'll get the drone up in the morning. Um, I can't wait to do that, to be fair. I mean, you probably had a little sample of it as the, uh, you know, as the intro, I would expect. Um, but for me, I haven't seen, I haven't had it yet. So um, if the, the sunset was in to go by, the sunrise is going to be epic. I, I'm, I'm at 9, um, I'm at 9.55, I think it is. Um, the the summit is 10.18, and there's a 9.99 uh, summit just there. Um, I just went for... It was really, really dark by the time I pitched up and I just walked and went go for a, a pitch that I, knew, I could see was flat. Um, I could also, um, I'm looking not quite towards where the sunrise is coming up, but not far off. I'm actually looking more towards Crane Lark Hills. Um, so I'll be, I'll be looking directly onto uh, like Ben Moon and Stabunia when, I, when my, my, my door opens. Um, but they should um, light up spectacularly. I'm expecting them to look amazing uh, in the sun um, with, the, with it being on it when the, and having the snow on them. Um, and then like I said, my plan is the first light is is just to take the drone and, and take some some filming uh, and go and tag um, Ben ha ha Ben Hallam, which is what I've, I don't think I've told you yet. This is where I'm at. So I'm on Ben Hallam, um, spelled C H A double L I U M, I think it is. Um, and a lot of pe uh, people avoid this one like the plague. And I would say avoid it like the plague in the summer because it is a bog vest. But see, this time of year, this was actually really good fun. Um, I wished I'd come in about an hour earlier. Um, I, got, I got stuck behind oh, an electric car guy. Like, he, he was like blocking everyone for uh, ages and um, his battery went. You know, so they're all fun, electric cars, until they do that. Eh? So that blocked the road for a while. Um, and getting through Glasgow was a bit of an issue. I actually left my house at 11 o'clock. Uh, I didn't even start the trail until after 3. That's how long it took me to get from my house to Glasgow, which shouldn't take that long. Probably had like an hour, I would say, overall. Um, yeah, um, oh, this is a, honestly a really nice hill to do in a snow vest. I've got my axe, which I've, I was tempted a couple of times to just get it out because there was a couple of points where I was I was following foot, footsteps and then I kind of went off my own little trail and it was getting a bit steeper and I was just about to feel like I wanted to get my hands down. I thought maybe I'll get my axe out here, but I didn't. Um, and I also didn't put my big crampons on. I went with spikes um, and they were absolutely fine. The, the snow right now, it was very hard, almost like icy snow. Um, I was hoping to make a snowman that while I was up here, but it's rock solid that you have to. I'm just banging away to the uh, ice axe before to try and get get some little snow made up, um, for using later on. Um, so it's not really snowman make, unfortunately. Um, although maybe it's a summit. I mean, I, I love making snowmen when I'm up here. They're like fun. One of the nice parts when you, when you go to camp is you make a wee snowman. Um, but I don't. I don't think I'll make one tonight. Like, um, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm. I'm I think I've covered everything. Um. Yeah, like I say, the tent's a big one. It's a new new tent, um, but I'll I'll, I'll I'll introduce it properly when it's in daylight. <coughs> yeah, I think so. Right, I'm gonna shut off for a bit. Uh, get our strips all down me, um, and get a wee hot toddy. Uh, I've got a whiskey, a gin, and 
uh, um, a red wine, which has got to go for my dinner. Um, probably want to get, get the, the gin down first, I think, and then I'll use the whiskey in, a, in my jet boil, get that nice and warm, and then, uh, I don't know what that's leaving me. Well, obviously the whiskey, uh, the, the red wine with my dinner, um, which is, I think, something like beans and sausages or chicken tikka. I can't remember. It's one of them, one of them wayfair meals, anyway. Um, um, see, unfortunately, I, I, um, I feel bad that my standards for this, the filming on the way up has not been brilliant. But I hope what you've seen already from the preview, you know, from the little intro, is worth sticking around because the morning, I'm, I'm expecting the morning to be amazing. And I'm, I just, let's just hope so, eh? Um, fingers crossed. Ah, right. In a wee bit. Um, hope you guys are cosy when you're watching this. I know I am, honestly, really, really cosy. The only thing I ever get is sometimes I get my hands, get a bit cold. But tonight they're all right um, for now, anyway. Um, as long as I keep them in my bag, anyway. And that's what I'm doing. I just want to get cosy right now because I'm, I'm still pretty knackered from this. <coughs> this damn cough it just will not go away um, ain't gonna stop me right say so we're going out on the weekend as well got cracking little clamp, camp cracking little camp lined up there um, and uh, yeah that's gonna, be, that's gonna be fun anyway right check back in a wee bit alright so just getting my, my dinner on now it's just past 9 o'clock um, I've always kind of gone down the idea of, um, especially on a colder camp, is not to, um, to have your, your food too early, but to try and save it for just when you're ready to go to bed, so then you're, you're going to bed with, with warm food in your stomach and keeping that, that lining going. Um, I think it makes sense. Um, I know like, normally at home you, you don't like to go to bed in a full stomach, but I think in this case it, it does kind of help keep you, it's almost like a hot water bottle. And then, speaking of which, I'm going to put as much water or, and, and snow in that thing as possible. Uh, and make myself a hot water bottle. Although, uh, I don't think I need it. It's really, really warm in here tonight. It's nice. Um, anyway, it's chicken tikka for dinner. Um, yeah, give it a few minutes and let's get on it. So, yep, yeah, I went with the um, chicken tikka and rice. And um, I have to remember and uh, bring my gas in and just leave it inside my bag. I'll wrap it up inside my wee hat actually um, just to make sure my gas stays warm for the morning I have bought a spare canister which is in my bag just in case um, so I'll get my coffee in the morning I'm in a May I might have my wee all day breakfast up here um, I'll see all the fettle is see what kind of time I'm on or I might just, um, just pack up and get done so, drink wise tonight. I've got this. This is a homemade bramble gin. As you can see, I'm slowly working my way through that. And what I said I'll come with my dinner, which I've not opened yet, is the devil's wine. Can't even eat that as I read. And then, I mentioned it on a couple of videos already. I'm off at the cures. I'm on the, uh, the goose school now. This is the, the third. It was a pack of three that they were giving out from, um, well, not giving out, you know, I've got a lot for my Christmas. So I'm going to slam that just before I hit the. I might, I think I've, I'm in the mood for the wine now, actually, you know. I've been so dry when I came up here, I was really just, just craving a Diet Coke in our, in our body. And, um, let's go by So, anyway, I'm going to let you film me eating, and I'm going to get this done. And then, uh, you know, I, I might put some guy like ropes out, I don't know. I mean, I mean two minds about them. I kind of feel like I should just because they are, but they're also nicely tied up. And if I don't need them, why undo all those knots for for extra jobs? Um, yeah, I'll definitely be wander in a minute and just stretch my legs. Um, see what the place is looking like outside. Right, I think I'm going to finish this first. I'm just outside for a minute. Oh, dear. Stretch the all legs. What the purpose they've been doing is using ice axe. Try and pick up some of this snow, put it on the scuts, just to stop the scuts from them um, planting about during the night. I remember seeing one video a while ago about this thing. As you can see, I haven't put the guy lines out, but look at them, isn't it? How many guy lines do you need? You got one, two there, the other one on that side. Got around the side here, Ryan. And all of these, the wee, uh, there's wee ropes here and all. Pulling them up. 
and then you get two at the front. Pop and you look at the tent. Budging. See the budging as it is, it's got it's what's called a, a geodesic design. So the poles cross over each other. It makes it more of a sturdy approach. I have to say, I think that's taking a bomb that is. I think that I can bomb going off that and I'm just cozy. So um I might, I might take a couple of snaps just for the for the gram, you know? And then uh, and then uh, retire to my bed. Gorgeous night, eh? Gorgeous. I'm just uh, getting sort of woke up. Um, slept all right. Um, nothing to do with it. My cat or the snow. Like my it's that cough. It's really bothering me at the moment. <coughs> um, that's what it is. But uh, actually, I got one of possibly one of the best pictures I've, I've found for a while. Um, and I think I think we could be in for a. Pretty tasty morning here. Um, I'm just gonna get myself a coffee, uh, and by then I was kind of about half seven issues when I was thinking that it should be enough daylight for me to start to wander up to the, uh, the summit. But I'm just gonna sit and chill for a wee bit first, and then um, get nice and warm, get drunk down me, um, uh, and then let's see what we've got. Here. Wow. So I was hinting at this last night that by my predictions and by the kind of the way the forecast was saying is we should be getting some form of cloud inversion. How much is um, there's always a little bit to the unknown a wee bit, but wow, how stunning is this? Um, like I say, I have no idea yet what kind of drone footage I've got. If I've got any at all, um, I'm going to put that up probably at the summit or once I'm back here. I've got it on my bag right now. But the plan for now is just to get a walk up to the summit and get that tagged. As you see the sun, it's got about 45 minutes or so before it's going to come over properly. But the colours are amazing. Like, absolutely, like... You just don't, you don't see these colours from, from down in the... Um, sea level in, in, in your town you only see it when you're up this high um, the inversion looks like it's more in the Craig Larrick size I mean there's I'm, I'm right in front of um, Ben Moore and Stubbinion and it's that's where it's going um, it looks like it well there's actually still I can see a bit more of an inversion around here as well so hopefully when I come over the ridge line um, on Ben Hallam um, we might be nestled in the clouds that's, that's the plan anyway so Right. Wow. Um, I think not enough enough yakking for me. I think I'm going to uh, start the walk up. Um, it's a brisk morning. I think it's about minus minus one maybe. Um, but uh, oh, oh, oh wow. This is just oh, it, you know 
But when you make the effort and you pitch your tent up at 975 metres, you're always in the hope. I mean, I've, I've had a few dodgy camps last year. I was in the clag, didn't get it right. But, um, oh, yes. Camping perfection. Right, come on, people, let's go up to the summit. So I was pitched with about a 15 minute walk to the summit. Um, as you've already seen, when I pitched up, it was dark. So I, but at that point in time, I was just looking to make sure I, I was high enough that I would be above the clouds and a nice good flat pitch, which I got. Um, view going up was just stunning. Um, I kept stopping and taking these little videos back towards Cringlar Hills, Ben Morn's Dominion, and the rest you see behind it in Arakar even. Um, we hit that first little summit, it was 999. It's not a name summit, it's just part of the, the, the Munro. Um, and then we move on to this little ridge walk here. Um, you know, the Insta 360 camera, it, it does often make it look a little bit more steep than it is. I mean, I'll I pull it out here just so you can see um, the full range of the, of the ridge here, but it's not too bad. And it's actually fine um, in the summertime. Um, in this time of year, you've just got to take a little bit of care. I, mean, I had my spikes on here. Um, I was tempted to bring my, my ice axe just in case that, um, I slipped and maybe I should have had, but um, I would definitely say you know, we'll treat winter conditions with a bit of respect um, and make sure that you have your gear with you if you can. Um, but like I say, it was a short walk up here um, over this little, little, little ridge, which um, did look fantastic, you know, and um, I kept stopping and taking little views around me. Um, but it's just on such a clear day. The, the view was just incredible. But you know, looking right up to the Balmores and Ben Nevis from here, we, we can just about see the Cairngorms, um, lower range, very visible, Craig Larrick Hills, Ben Moore, Stabinion, very, very, very prominent in the foreground. Then we over the other side there, we had Ben Louis, Ben Oz. Um, it's a fantastic mountain morning, mountain day uh, to be out on, on the hills. But, um, I want to finish this little voiceover, which is the little warning that um, um, I hope you, you enjoy some drone footage because you've got about four minutes now to sit back and watch um, what I think some of the best drone footage I've ever picked up in any of these videos. So I really do hope you appreciate what I've got coming for you. And uh, yeah, say, just get your coffee, sit back, and enjoy this little part coming up next. Here we go, summit, Ben Hallam, unfortunately it's just a pile of stones, that'll do. <coughs>
job of putting all my gear away. Um, I have a, a bit of an order that I do. Um, normally takes me about 10, 15 minutes. So, um, and then you can get back out. The sunrise is taking a, a while to come up, so um, it should be quite nice on the, uh, the journey down. And I'm sure by now you have seen plenty of the, the drone footage. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. That was um, what I hoped for and more. Um, delightful. Yeah, I'm going to get packed to be. And um, there's more to see, I think, until I, until I can get this done and get, get off mountain. already hope you've enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for this one over and out from Robert North and Adventures enjoy I love this one Lay in the 
seats You hold on to me like I'm already gone And whisper your words like secrets written in an old moleskin And look up above, the sunlight seems like it is gonna break in